Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my 2021 clone army. It has grown a lot since the first clone army video I uploaded, which I believe was in my first five or six uploads that I ever made to this channel back in April, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm not sure for sure, but uh, yeah, my army has basically doubled in size since I started this channel. Um, I have a lot of new vehicles, a lot of new stuff to show you guys, so let's get right into it. So let's start with the vehicles. Um, we'll start at the front with the smallest vehicles. I have one bark speeder built. <laughs> I didn't really build any other ones. I don't really need it. I just built it for the review. I, they're, they're cool, but they take up a lot of space, and so I don't really need them um, in my mocks. And then I have my custom ATR, ATRT recon that I made the other day. Um, and then I have three normal ATRTs, one of which I just built on a stream. Um, the other two I've had built since August. Um, when I first got my first two battle packs, I built both of the builds. Um, but we can go further over here, um, to my right. And we have the AV-7 cannon. I got this one back in, I want to say April or May, but I don't remember for sure. It's a really awesome set, um, has a lot of play features, and it has the rotatable cannons. Really, really like how this set looks, and it's one of my pride and joys of my collection. Um, and then behind it, I have my 501st ATRT. If you do want to check out the video, go ahead, but I customized my ATRT to be a 501st ATRT to fit the rest of my army. Um, as most of it is the 501st Legion, so I use stickers from the Bark Speeders, different parts to kind of give it a 501st-esque uh, look to it. Um, there's some easy modifications that I had to do. Most of the work I had to do was around the top part. Um, as we move further to the back, I have the Republic Attack Shuttle that I just got for Christmas. Um, quite an awesome vehicle, I must say. A lot of play features. It can drop bombs, fire missiles. It's a really great set. Um, expect a review coming on it, uh, coming for it soon because it is quite the set, and I really like it. Um, but if we turn to the back, I also have my true, true pride and joy to my LEGO Star Wars collection, the 2008 Republic Gunship. A lot of people give this one flack. They don't think it's the best. And maybe that's true. Maybe people don't have as much nostalgia for it as they do the 2013. 2013 is probably more well-built. However, as I've stated in a couple of streams, this is the only... The only Clone Wars gunship that was ever made. Both the 2002 Republic gunship and the 2013 were both from Episode 2. This is the only gunship that does not have the ball turrets on it, has a Clone Wars style uh, trim on it, and all the doors open and close. That's one of the key features to take away from this set. And it holds way more troops than both the 2013 and 2002. So that is why I got this one, because it is the only Clone Wars gunship, and it fits the rest of my army. Um, that's pretty much it for the builds, so let's get right into the minifigures. So here are all the minifigures for my clone army. I did not include Jedi. This is just strictly clone vehicles and uh, personnel. So I have my 501st and 332nd army over here. Um, it consists from... Five battle packs. Each battle pack has its own row, and then I have the two 332nd here for my two ATs. I'm planning on buying a couple more 332nd later down the road, but for now, these are the 332nd that I have. Um, I do really like the 332nd, but the orange paint job can be a little too bright uh, most of the time. Um, but it still looks good, and next to my Ahsoka Tana minifigure, it really fits. I have the five jet pack troopers. Um, over here are some figures I had in the last army. I have my two Galactic Marine uh, custom minifigures that I made from Snow Troopers and Arc Troopers. And then I have my custom Commander Bakara. Yes, he does not have the, um, he doesn't have the armor that uh, Commander Bakara has during Order 66. We can just pretend this is his Phase 1 version. Um, but he also uses the Arc Trooper body from the 2011 Battle Pack, I believe. Um, I have three of the OG style of Phase 2 clones, including Fred the Clone Trooper. Um, I haven't really revealed much about Fred the Clone Trooper, my mascot. I probably should. Um, his actual name is FR-12ED. He was a clone prototype during the end of the war. Um, 
more details will go into him in the future. I'll probably do some stop motions um, talking about him. Um, but I also have two others. I have um, <laughs> whatever company this is. Let, let me know down in the comments below what uh, Clone Legion this is with the yellow stripe down the helmet. And then I have a Phase 2 Shock Trooper as well. So not many, but they're pretty cool. I keep them around. Um, and then at the back, I have my Phase 2 Wolfpack Troopers that came with the AV-7. I actually gave them jetpacks because they look cooler with the jetpacks. Kind of like that scene um, when uh, Plo Koon and the wolf pack are releasing the slaves from their internment camp during the Clone Wars. I believe that's either Season 5 or 6 um, of the Clone Wars. In the back, I have my Phase 1 army back here. So these are the Phase 2 miscellaneous. And then these are all of my Phase 1. I have a lot of Phase 1. I have 8 regular Phase 1s, um, 2 of which are the Episode 2. So the other six are the Clone Wars version from 2008. I have five Bomb Squad Troopers in the back. I have a Clone Commander Wolf and a Jetpack Trooper. I have a Commander Gree, two Horn Company Troopers, a Clone Pilot, Clone Lieutenant, and a Captain Rex, who unfortunately is off-brand. But, you know, he's a good off-brand. I keep him around. Um, plus, I need a Captain Rex for my army anyways. Um, I do have a friend that owns a Captain Rex, so I can borrow it from him if I ever need it. Um which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Most people don't even have any friends that have a Captain Rex in the first place. Um, fortunately, I don't have a resource for a tactical droid, but oh well. I'll just have to buy one of those in the future. Recently on BrickLink, those tactical droids have gone up in price from like 18 to $20 to like $46 in the U.S. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, getting a little off topic here. This is all of my clone army. I really like how it turned out. Um, the funny thing about this clone pilot, I actually got this even though it's a 2013 clone pilot that would go from the gunship, I got it in my 2008 Republic attack shuttle. I bought the Republic attack shuttle used and someone put the 2013 clone pilot instead of the 2008, which I'm fine with because the 2013 is actually probably a better clone pilot minifigure than the 2008 is. So I don't mind, um, actually, I didn't complain because I really like the look of the 2013. Um, I need more of the episode two clone minifigures anyways, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this army, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And without further ado, I will see you.